it'll be a good fight it'll be an explosive fight fast two fast fighters two strong explosive fighters uh it'll be a dope dominant fight you know explosive fight it'll be an explosive fight javonta davis just dropped a bombshell that's got the entire boxing world buzzing he's backing out of the fight with frank martin and let me tell you it's sending shockwaves through the sport now let's rewind a bit and talk strategy Davis, along with his legendary coaches, Calvin Ford and Kenny Ellis, they've been putting in the work. They're not just studying Martin's fighting style. They're practically dissecting it. They're diving into the nitty-gritty, analyzing every move, every angle, every bone in Martin's body. It's like they're crafting a master plan, piece by piece. But then, out of nowhere, Davis drops this bombshell. He's like, I ain't stepping into that ring with Martin. Not now, not ever. And just like that, jaws drop, eyebrows raise, and the rumor mill goes into overdrive. What's the deal here? Why the sudden change of heart? Now let's talk about the buzz. This ain't just your run-of-the-mill gossip. Nah, this news is straight from the source, from Davis's inner circle. But hold up, it's not official yet, adding a whole new layer of mystery to the mix. So what's really going on behind closed doors? Davis, he's got this swagger, this confidence that's just off the charts. He's all like, it ain't about ducking no fights. It's about knowing when to pick your battles. You gotta admire that kind of confidence, right? He's saying Martin ain't ready for what he's bringing to the table. It's a bold move, no doubt about it. For Davis, it's not just about avoiding a fight. Nah, it's a strategic move, a calculated risk. He's all about keeping his opponents guessing, keeping that legacy intact, and let me tell you, he's not messing around. I don't play games in the ring, and I sure as hell ain't about to start now, Davis declares his eyes blazing with determination. He's laying it all out there, daring anyone to question his resolve. That's the kind of confidence you gotta respect, you know? Now imagine this, Davis and Martin, two heavyweights of the ring, going head to head like it's nobody's business. It's like something out of a movie, the tension palpable, egos clashing left and right. This ain't just your average fight, folks. This is history in the making. And there you have it. The saga of Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin lighting up the boxing world like never before. Who knows what's going to happen next? All we can do is sit back, grab some snacks, and watch the drama unfold. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. It's going to be one for the history books, no doubt about it. But hey, the plot thickens, my friend. There's more to this story than meets the eye. Rumors are swirling, whispering secrets of behind-the-scenes drama. Some say there's bad blood between Davis and Martin, a rivalry that's been brewing under the surface for years. Others speculate that Davis is nursing an injury, something he's keeping tightly under wraps. And then there are those who believe it's all just mind games, a ploy to mess with Martin's head and throw him off his game. But amidst all the speculation and hearsay, one thing's for sure. This fight, or lack thereof, has got everyone talking. It's dominating headlines, sparking debates and fueling the fire of anticipation. Will Davis and Martin ever face off in the ring? Only time will tell. But until then, you can bet the boxing world will be hanging on to every word, waiting for the next chapter in this epic saga to unfold. Eddie Hearn, a prominent figure within the pugilistic realm, has offered his perspective on the impending clash between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin. His commentary sheds light on the nuanced dynamics at play within the sport. Hearn's confidence in Davis's forthcoming bout against Martin is palpable, despite Davis's protracted hiatus from the ring. He articulates a belief that Davis has strategically selected Martin as an opponent where victory appears assured. This strategic decision, in Hearn's estimation, underscores Davis's tactical acumen and understanding of his competitive landscape. Yet Hearn's assessment ventures beyond mere prognostication. He fight the tank, but Frank Martin's a good little fighter. You know, don't think he's going to do mad numbers, but um, yeah, it's, it's a good fight. He articulates, "I mean, yeah, it's all right. It's an easy fight for Tank." Encapsulating his perception that Davis holds a significant advantage in the impending contest. Despite Martin's unblemished record and commendable knockout performances, Hearn maintains a conviction in Davis's capacity to emerge triumphant. Acknowledging Martin's proficiency as a pugilist, Hearn concedes, but Frank Martin is a good little fighter. This acknowledgement reflects a recognition of Martin's capabilities, while simultaneously reaffirming Hearn's confidence in Davis's supremacy within the matchup. However, Hearn's evaluation extends beyond matters of athletic prowess to considerations of financial viability. 
He expresses reservations regarding the potential revenue generated by the bout, stating, I don't think he's going to do mad numbers. But yeah, it's a good fight. This observation underscores the multifaceted nature of boxing promotion, wherein financial considerations intertwine with athletic spectacle. The anticipation surrounding the Davis vs. Martin bout transcends the confines of the ring, permeating throughout the broader boxing community. Fans eagerly await the outcome while speculating about potential future matchups, including the prospect of Davis confronting Devin Haney. Such speculation adds layers of intrigue to the evolving narrative surrounding Davis's return to the sport. Let's dive deeper into the swirling world of boxing drama because there's plenty more to unpack. The matchup between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin isn't just capturing attention in the ring. It's igniting a wildfire of anticipation and speculation across social media platforms. Fans, pundits, and boxing enthusiasts are diving headfirst into discussions, sharing their thoughts, and making bold predictions about the impending clash. User at the rate DJ. The prototype's succinct summation echoes the sentiments reverberating throughout the fan base. They're raising eyebrows and emphasizing the significance of Davis squaring off against a top-tier lightweight like Martin. This bout isn't merely another fight on the calendar. It's a pivotal moment in Davis's career, a litmus test of his readiness to tackle formidable opponents and ascend to new heights within the sport. And then there's user at the rate JMMA4, adding their voice to the chorus of anticipation. They're highlighting the stakes of the bout, emphasizing its role in Davis's quest to solidify his standing as one of the lightweight division's elite fighters. For Davis, this isn't just about securing a win. It's about showcasing his skills, resilience, and championship caliber under the bright lights of the ring. Yet amid the excitement, there's a lingering question mark hovering over the matchup. Some observers are pondering whether Davis versus Martin will truly live up to the hype of those blockbuster showdowns synonymous with the sport. The absence of other high-profile fighters like Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, and Shakur Stevenson from the mix has raised eyebrows and sparked speculation about the dynamics behind the scenes. Rumors of negotiations and financial intricacies are only adding fuel to the fire, fueling debate and discussion across the boxing community. Shakur Stevenson's expressed disappointment at not being part of the headline bout underscores the intense competition within professional boxing. His reaction underscores the fierce ambition and drive that propel fighters like him to vie for lucrative opportunities and recognition within the sport's unforgiving landscape. But let's not overlook the significance of Gervonta Davis's return to the ring following a period of legal troubles. This isn't just a comeback. It's a chance for Davis to reclaim his place among boxing's elite, to remind the world of his electrifying talent and unyielding determination. The prospect of a pay-per-view showdown against Martin, tentatively scheduled for late spring or early summer, has set pulses racing and tongues wagging across the boxing world. Davis's bold declaration to Martin, prepare to get hurt bad, speaks volumes about his unwavering confidence and hunger for victory. As we wrap up our exploration of the riveting saga between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin, the fervor and anticipation surrounding their impending clash echo throughout the boxing world. From the intricate strategies devised by Davis's coaching team to the insightful commentary of Eddie Hearn, every facet of this tale has captivated audiences near and far. Davis's unexpected withdrawal from the fight, citing strategic considerations, set off a whirlwind of speculation and debate within the boxing community. Yet amidst the uncertainty, one truth remains indisputable. The unwavering passion and excitement that boxing ignites within its fans. Across social media platforms, vibrant discussions and predictions abound, underscoring the profound impact of Davis versus Martin on the collective imagination. From dissecting match strategies to pondering future opponents, enthusiasts are immersed in the drama and unpredictability that define the sport. The disappointment expressed by fighters like Shakur Stevenson underscores the competitive essence of boxing, where opportunities are fiercely contested and victories hard won. Yet it is precisely this intensity and resilience that lend boxing its enduring allure, captivating audiences with its raw emotion and thrilling spectacle. As we look ahead, 
The legacies of Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin stand poised to leave an indelible mark on the sport's storied history. Whether they emerge triumphant or encounter setbacks, their journey epitomizes the essence of human endeavor and perseverance. Stay tuned until next time. Peace out.